What's going on everybody? The ranks in Spellslingers has reset uh, and so I'm grinding up the ladder again and so I figured it was a good time to revisit uh, an old friend in Ashiok. Uh, so I grabbed a list that made Mythic in the last season and I uh, was figured I would take it for a spin and uh, see how it holds up. Let's go! All right, so uh, ranks have reset. We recently climbed back up to diamond, and uh, since I cannot de rank from diamond at the moment, I'm going to take the opportunity to uh, play some fun decks. So, uh, this was a list from Mephisto. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, for uh, Ashiok, after some of the updates, so uh, Ashiok recently got nerfed and buffed, uh, nerfed, and then was nerfed too hard, so they buffed some aspects of her. Uh, or by that, I mean they reverted one of the changes, um, and uh, yeah, I, I, I'm interested to see where she ends up. I, I, you know, I've been not seen too many on the ladder. Uh, I think I played like one today as I was climbing, so yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, that, actually, I also didn't really get that many new toys. We'll talk about some of them, but um, anyways, yeah, let's let's you know we're gonna go over the deck, but first. You're enjoying, uh, um, you know, content. If you're watching on Twitch, uh, remember, you can leave a follow. Much appreciated. You can also subscribe. Just, just putting it out there. Uh, and if you're watching on YouTube, remember like, comment, subscribe. All that stuff really helps me out. Uh, all right. Uh, so let's talk about Ashiok. Nothing's really changed about Ashiok other than the fact that now, instead of uh, the top ten, it's the top fifteen. Uh, that might seem like a uh, insubstantial nerf, but it actually uh, has delayed uh, uh, or made the the uh, reliability of the uh, nightmares uh, quite a bit. Uh, that doesn't mean that you're just going to die. It just means you can't rely solely on the nightmares to keep you alive anymore. Uh, you can't just rack them up and expect to just hit like four or five and be like, OK, cool. I don't have to care about aggro decks. You kind of do have to play. Uh, to to survive. Uh, and we kind of see that here in uh, Mephisto's build here. Um, we have some infest. We have a lot of different removal spells. Um, so I think I think I, I agree with that quite a bit. Um, we're playing uh, the uh, Fountain of Magic along with School of the Wizard. Um, both of these just provide so much value and work really well again with with Ashiok. Um, otherwise, everything's pretty standard here. There is a, a couple of negates, which is kind of interesting. Uh, I'm not sure how those would play out, um, but we will we will see. Um, the only other new cards uh, like that have been added to this kind of archetype uh, we have Snapcaster Mage, which is basically the same as it is in Paper Magic. Uh, love this card in Magic. Love this card in Spell Snickers, and I will pretty much uh, make any excuse to uh, uh, play this card. So uh, yeah, it's kind of why I wanted to play this list so I can I can use these guys. Um, the other new include is uh, Change Teams. Uh, it's an interesting removal spell. It's kind of like a better eject uh, since uh, instead of just, you know, it's, it's good against creatures that have some kind of uh, resilient effect or uh, finale trigger. Uh, just put them into your deck. You don't have to deal with it. And then when you draw it, it triggers your nightmare. Uh, if it's a really, really powerful creature, but obviously you want to uh, have it change teams. Uh, running only one scour since also at some point this was nerfed to six mana. Uh, and then uh, some other noteworthy stuff. There's one pixie trickster for, again, some pexy, pesky creatures. I've also used this to change the uh, wizard's familiar into a 3-3, which sometimes is, is pretty interesting. Um... But yeah, otherwise, pretty standard stuff. Oh, I mentioned, so the, the nerf that was pretty bad was they chained Extract Fear to two mana. That completely ruined uh, the power level of both the card itself and also uh, Ashiok. Um, it just made it so that your turn one and turn two plays were that much in, more inconsistent. You really only had Rune Shell Crab and Get Ahead. So that felt really bad. Uh, this going back to one mana makes this deck so much more playable again. So. Uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Again, I, I, I haven't really played too much with this list, uh, but we'll see how it goes. It has been forever since I have really played uh, uh, some matches with uh, with Ashiok here, so we'll see how it goes. Ashiok versus Teferi! Hmm. I think this is going to be a good matchup. A lot of our cards are cheap, uh, so they won't get caught by Absorb. I 
and uh, no longer running uh, the uh, the Teleron Academy, so fortunately we cannot play this Isochron for one mana. That would be so good. It's time. But I do like that that, that this card is not uh, seen any downtick in play. Isochron Scepter is still uh, just so so prevalent. Just such a such a good magic card, or such a good spell singers card. Uh, Alright, so we get a little information about their deck. Uh, we see It's Alive, Negate, and Shell Game. I think I'm just going to take It's Alive. We already have our own Negate. Honestly, it might be, this matchup might be the reason why we have Negate in our deck. Let's see if they develop anything. I think I'm going to hold up my own Negate, <laughs> ironically. This is this is this is hilarious. Uh, all right, so they know that I have that. I th I think yeah, I'm just gonna hold up negate. Lol, get wrecked. Uh, so now I can play my own wizards familiar. And. It gets discount. Discounts unsummon? Sure. Um. I think now I'm just playing Isochron. Sweet. Ooh, what do I want to do here? Yeah, I think I'm just going to take Get Ahead. I like. Alabaster Faith is, is cool, but. I don't think I really need it. So, this is an interesting decision of whether to block here or not. I think I... Uh... Yeah, it's like... I think whatever. I guess it also checks for, like, some combat traps. Um... Yeah, I don't know. That's a close one. I like, don't fault anyone either for there for blocking or not blocking, but I think I just want to keep my health high. There's also probably plenty of cards. Oh, I think I think I'm actually down for a mill over here. So I'm gonna hold up negate as I cast these get aheads. Okay, uh, let's do another one. Um, yeah, I guess let's just play this. Alright, so they just wasted a bunch of mana. And I guess, like, theoretically, like, I shouldn't be as worried about this because of, uh... uh because of our nightmares. But I also think that, again, the, the familiar was not doing much to, uh... <laughs> To participate in the game. Okay. Yep. You look silly. What do they transform? They transformed the crab, right? It's actually kind of cool. Hello. Yeah, that's what they do. shot. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. It's fine. Um, second so negate. You want an Agni Warp? Not really, right? I think I actually want to just 
It's alive. Pass. It's like, we've already drawn so many cards, and then, you know, we're gonna start doing a bunch with Nightmares. They're also... Oh, we already played the one that's from them. I'm realizing. I thought we played the other one. Drink deep from the well of life. Drink deep from the well of life. That thing's got flying in reach, but <laughs> at least it flies. Uh, ooh, that's a nice one. Uh, but I am concerned about this thing called Negate, so... I think I am casting this. Yeah. Alright, so we have confirmed that there is no Negate in their hand at the current moment in time. Does that mean that they could not play Negate next turn? I think I'm just playing Negate and a Scorpion. Oh my god, that's so good. <laughs> and on top of all of this, they can no longer play or hold have a negate at their disposal, to my knowledge, unless they somehow discounted, discount a um, discount card. I think I'm just gonna, honestly, just to be safe, let's cast that mill over. I don't need, I don't need that infest. We like that extract fear. Wow, we've got to rip both of their absorbs. Okay. My guess is there's going to be a day of judgment coming up right now, but I think the damage has kind of been done. Yeah, I think, think, think the damage has been done here. Wow, they're just playing Arcanus? Uh, yeah, seems fine. We can cage match that? We can cage match plus- oh, that's funny. Wow. I mean, the cage match was uh, like- I mean, I, honestly, it didn't even need to be cage match. It could have been unsummon Agony Warp. Uh, so, like, that, that, that didn't even matter. And both of those are cards in our deck, so, like... Well, the luck here really only came from Flame Shot, right? That was like the only uh the luck based element. Did we get 40 points for that? Game was like, you know what? You won with freaking Ashiok of all the where's the one I saw? You know what I just realized? I didn't check where it is on on um spell singers tier list. Shall we begin? Let's look to your list. It is currently. I can't even see it. Is it even on the tier list? Not even on the tier list. Not even on the tier list. Lol.
Hey, Doge. I have no idea how this matchup's gonna go. Hey, Doge. Welcome, distinguished guests and undistinguished riffraff. Oh. Uh, actually, Negate's probably good. Agony Warp's kind of good. Is Agony Warp good? We'll try. We'll shuffle stuff around a little bit. Let's go! You know how we beat Raw with such good cards? We play their cards. <laughs> That's how we win. Alright, I think we just get ahead here. Save our mana. LOL! Uh, I think I'm gonna wait on that. There's a, there's the up the upside of waiting is that uh, we get to uh, uh, we get to choose kind of like what uh, we can get. Although now I don't want this being discounted, so scour the void. You say I'm kind of down. Ooh, that was changed to five. Now we got the old version of Scour the Void. Let's go. Uh, it's a little spooky. A little spookly dookly. <laughs> I think we're just gonna hold up Negate. I'm pretty sure because of the way uh, Negate interacts with stuff like Teferi's ability that this will hold up. <laughs> yeah, so it does. It negates this and it also doesn't count towards the thing. That is hilarious. That is so funny. That is so good. All right. Well, they can still flip the thing. Uh, I have no idea how we are going to deal with this. Oh, well, that's one way. Uh, yeah, probably what we're going to do. Better. It's probably a braid is the only play here. Again, I, I think I just want to save these like this doesn't really do much for me besides be a 1-1, so. We've taken a lot of damage. We've not made a lot of nightmares yet. Uh-huh. That's not good. That's that's even worse. I think we're dead. We are at one life. Uh huh. Oh, well, that helps. Oh, my God, they mill the signature spell. Wow. All right. Oh, that, that's also nice. Uh, oh, this gets back the signature spell. I think I actually have to do that right now. I think I do this. Uh, although, oh, that doesn't even matter. Do spark. Potential. None of this matters. I guess like extract fear does something. I'm gonna deem this and play out an exectile aberration or whatever. Not an exectile. All right. Uh, so I am just into chaos lightning, uh, but if I can live. <laughs> Try this. 
fine. I, I think I'm infesting anyways, so I don't even care about this. Actually, I'm not insect uh, infesting. I'm just going to braid. Like now, feeling okay. I'm feeling relatively optimistic. By that, I mean like just hoping to be alive. I'll blow this out as a creature. I guess this also may mean... Oh, well... Probably. This probably means this is just blocking on blocking duty, though. Because, like, there's no way for me to, like, play all of these things. Maybe there's just no point. That's fine. Yeah, like now, now there's no point in me keeping this round even remotely. Um. Now I'm so lost. That's four or five. So that's four. Yeah, let's do this. Do we get mana surge? Not bad. So we do mana surge into mana surge. Uh, fire mind bolt. Not even. We just infest. I don't know, man. I, I'm I'm pulling at straws here. <laughs> okay. We get some nightmares. Uh, still dead to chaos lightning, I think. But like, we're doing, we're doing things. That can be flagrant fouled. That can also be um, uh, pixie trickstered. It's fine. Yeah, I think I'd just rather flagrant foul that. Don't fear what you don't understand. Open your mind. Right? Yeah. I guess it's like extract fear first. One must perfect one's craft. I broke something. All right, so no nightmares still, even though there's 20, there's 20 nightmares. Okay. Okay. This is five damage. Oh my God, fire mine bolts. Wait, nightmares? <gasps> Wait. Oh, I got hopeful there for a sec. I thought that was gonna do it. That's so dumb. That's so dumb that the nightmares don't save me there. Why don't they save me there? I feel like they should. Alright, we'll do one more. One more to close out the night. That was a wild game. I was pulling at straws there that whole time. As I was on the back foot the whole entire time. Ashok versus Liliana. Lagrant Foul has been pretty bad against Leon in the past, I'm pretty sure. So, but also, what the heck is this Liliana playing? I mean, Old Graveyard is standard, but what would you even- I like, I don't even know how you would like- I guess you still have the blue black version. Okay. 
Alright, so I'm just gonna slam this 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 uh this wizard's familiar. Can you target the get ahead? God dang it. I can never hit the get ahead. I would love to Okay, well we got the turn one nightmare. That's something at least. I mean sure. I think uh, I think Icer Concept there is is okay in this instance. You anticipate <laughs> Wow. <laughs> they hit two one in fifteens. Wow. Oh, it's reanimator. It's freaking reanimator. And the surge is not bad. Can mana surge hold four mana? Uh, oh, this this doesn't even do anything at the moment. I ever want to play this now? I don't think I even think I do. I would like to get ahead and see what happens. That kind of sucks. Let's do this. Turn to stone is a good one. Potential. Oh, I was about to pass. I can attack in the air. It's like, yeah, this kind of sucks, but all I got is what I expected. Although, this could be worse. Because now we can mana surge. I think we mana surge turn to stone oh. over change teams, even though I'll, I would love to have that in my deck. <laughs> Your thoughts are an open door. And I would just like endless these jumps. So like now the other deck just kind of like doesn't do that crazy stuff. Unless they have the, uh, the Gyramid or whatever. We just like play the Scorpion here. That's actually fine. Actually, now I'm just gonna play it. Now that they did that, I'm just gonna play the Snapcaster and get ahead. It's like actually fine. And then the change seems here uh, for any other big stuff that they play is also fine. Did you forget? Did did you forget? What a remarkable surprise. That's a funny way to win the game. Your opponent just sacrificed their own creature. Uh, so here we're just gonna probably just gonna agony warp this. So we can attack with the Snapcaster Mage, even though again it doesn't really do much, and we also would rather have the Agony Twist. Uh, let's anticipate here. Kind of down for Get Ahead. Uh, I'm gonna play this just in case. I actually don't even know what they would play here. Well, these the rest of these are like spells and stuff that I can use to uh, get more elementals. Uh, so that works, right? Yeah. Oh, I can also. Does this thing have ward? It does not even have ward. Cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and steal that as well. Pretty sure those are the only things that you can. Ooh. That's annoying. Open 
Oh, well, that's nice. They run rave and feeblement. Oh, this is even even a zombie. Haha, <laughs> get wrecked. Uh, ooh. It's not bad either. It's just infest drain blood. Kind of down. One must perfect one's craft. But, uh, yeah, regardless of, like, the result of this game, knowing that we have the, uh, correct... Even we have the, the chance to have some of these, uh, crucial guards to deal with... Shenanigans. Let's we'll just call it shenanigans like this. Uh, what do they have? They have any... They show any other cards? I don't think so. Uh, I'm gonna hold up Negate and play this, this mastery. Okay. are an open door. <sighs> Trickster is gonna ruin this. Right. Yeah, I think I even wanna... Do I? I could also just... Flagrant Foul, Agony Twist, hold up and negate. That's fine. I'm glad I I'm glad I didn't use the negate yet, because I didn't want to negate that. <laughs> so this also allows me to like even if they bring something back, I can still trick if the whatever the whatever her name was. The gross lady. Yeah, it's so like the sister stone of death, right? I'd like even if they <laughs> I mean, they just got wrecked at every turn, man. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Not a ton of points, but... Yeah, we could theoretically climb with Ashiok. I'm wondering if I want to try that. I really don't, because the grind is already... already hard enough. Alright, uh, so that was Ashiok. Uh, so thanks for Mephisto for, for making this and uh, I put it up on, uh, I think in spellslayers.net or .com. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll link that um, for y'all in case y'all want to check that out. They've got some good resources over there. Um, yeah, so I mean, first of all, like as you saw, there were still times where we just like got lucky and got the nightmares. But the nightmares were definitely happening a lot less, and also the stacks. Like the, the I think the big thing that that uh, uh, they tried to avoid uh, with some of the changes that they made, or at least reduce, is the amount of times where you get like stacks of four or five nightmares, because those feel really, really, really strong when they happen. And I think obviously if you just like stack up a ton, um, those are more likely to happen. But uh, if you're just putting like a couple in your deck in your opponent's deck at a time, that kind of nightmare. Uh, uh, effect is uh less likely to happen more and more so um yeah but it still does a decent job of uh keeping your life total high letting you um do all that stuff and uh, yeah so i mean the deck feels pretty good negate did a ton of work uh in the teferi matchup in that liliana matchup at the end there um like so many times just the negate really worked um and Part of that is because the deck inherently just ha wants to have cards that deal with creatures. Right? You see, we have the infest, the fowls, you know, the the drain bloods, uh, and so having something to shore up any kind of other shenanigans uh, is kind of nice. So that's a really interesting, uh, uh, almost kind of I don't want to call it a tech, but a new a new development 
um, in terms of how Ashiok uh, players are are uh, are choosing to attack the meta. Um, otherwise, I mean, Snapcaster was fine. Snapcaster did some interesting things there, um, get, using like get ahead, uh, or also uh, getting. There was one game where right we we missed getting the signature spell because a Rawl milled it, and that did work right. Um, yeah, change teams, uh, as well as, uh, Pixie Trickster and Shell Game, uh, do a lot of work, uh, to kind of deal with, uh, these, uh, incredibly recursive, uh, or, uh, uh, or, you know, just hard to interact with, uh, threats. Um, so you saw we played against, again, uh, the, the kind of Liliana Reanimator deck, and we were able to, uh, in pretty much every instance, uh, do you use use one of these cards of in some way or another to uh, disrupt disrupt that game plan? Um, also worked well against uh, Rawl with their Magnum Opus and just like any anything really anything like it it is just like the, this slew of stuff is a nice catch all. Change teams felt fine. It's a little expensive, but when you cast it, you know you you need to and uh, you know it's worth it. Um, otherwise, there's not really much to say. It's the same standard Ashok stuff. It's good to know that this strategy or this this Planeswalker is still. I'm not gonna say that it's top tier. I'm not even gonna say that it's relevant, but it's at least there for the to be played by the people who enjoy it. I know Ashok was like one of the first Planeswalkers that I kind of latched onto. It was a fun kind of mid rangey controlling, just value value grinding gameplay that I kind of enjoy. Uh, you get to use uh, a bunch, of, you know, you get to see and, and interact with a bunch of different cards that um, most Planeswalkers don't get to do, right? You just get to see such a different variety of cards, whereas most Planeswalkers are kind of just playing with their same core set of cards or whatever over and over and over. And Ashok feels like a different game pretty much every time uh, that I play it. So, yeah, I really enjoy that gameplay, and it was nice to kind of revisit Ashiok, kind of make a full circle here. In any case, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, remember to like, comment, subscribe. If you're watching over on YouTube, if you're watching over on Twitch, remember, uh, leave a follow, all that stuff. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys for the next video.